Well, hello, hello. I can't say hello for some reason. I'm sorry, I got the giggles. I've, I had to redo this already and I can't stop laughing. But yes, hello everyone, it's me, Scott. That guy that you occasionally stumble across here on YouTube. Uh, recently I had uploaded a video of an unboxing that I dwelled on probably longer than I should have. And of course it was on this guy right here, the Nag Castle 75K Special Edition. Woo, yeah. All right, <laughs> but yes, the Nag Castle 75K Special Edition. Of course, I got the little gift right here as well. I've gotten a lot of comments and compliments on this, so once again, Nicholas, thank you so much. This little guy has turned out to be a huge hit. It's a magnet that he made, and I think I know why he actually did this, the, the reference on this. When, um, when I was speaking with Nick on Facebook Messenger, I was trying to give him the best information on how I wanted this guy to look. And I used this classic image as a reference. And of course I was going with others. And this is, you know, this is the thing, this is the image, the thing, the image that we all absolutely love. It's like the true, you know, first time that we'd seen this mask in the movie or when you're all watching the movie at any time. So I'm gonna put them right back over here on the refrigerator. It just goes perfect there and I don't have to worry about damaging it. So yes, Nicholas, thank you so much again. I truly appreciate um, the from the previous mask that I ordered with you, the cover, a special edition, and this guy right here. I, I, I absolutely fell in love with this guy. He uh, He's something else, and there's been others as well who's noticed this mask quite a bit. Um, uh, you've, you've knocked this one right out of the ballpark. It's just, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. So Nicholas, thank you once again. And then, of course, if you guys are very interested in knowing more about this, then go speak to the man himself, the creator, the designer, the sculptor, the artist, the special makeup. I mean, he's got it all right here. And if you do talk to him, tell him I sent him, you know, your way, you know, because I figure, you know what? Yeah, he's a busy man, but I like to think that if anything, if it's you or you or you that said, you know what? I really like Scott's video and I love that Nag Castle 75K. Hey, just, just do you know a friend a favor there. Just say, hey, Scott, send me your way. No, I just, I, I just appreciate it. I'm, I just absolutely love you know Nicholas's work and all that. Absolutely, I just, I fell in love with this thing. So yeah, let's get into it real quick. I'll, I'll stop drooling over it because I probably do it way too much as it is. But yes, uh, this guy right here. I, I, you'll see later on the video that I, of course, was wearing it. I'll probably be the very last time I ever wear this because I don't want to take any chances of. Oh, I'm causing any damage. I know, it's a mask. How could I hurt it? Trust me, I'm good at hurting things. But anyways, uh, the details. As you can see, this is pretty much, when it comes to the Halloween H1, this is dead on. I mean, it's absolutely amazing how he created this. So I guess we'll start to the top with the whole body of the head of itself. Yes, it is a 25 inch. It's what I want. I've got future plans of putting this guy like in a smaller bust. Um, I just, to me personally, it just stands out more. It's just what I want. I don't want a smaller mask on a, it's just from my personal experience having the NHK on that bust over there. It's perfect size and everything else. So yes, that's why I wanted a 25 inch. And I'm sure that if you do decide to get something like this, you want it a little bit smaller. I don't know for sure, but I'm sure Nicholas can, you know, do that for you. I don't know that. So you'd have to ask him. So make sure if that, if the size, matters to you make sure you have that conversation with them on that so yes we've got 25 here the hair itself is so easy to work with so if you're concerned about a certain tease a certain look that you want look at me does it does it look like i know how to do hair i mean i haven't had to comb this thing in probably 25 years so i it was this was a piece of cake absolutely easy as hell to work with so yeah it's uh Spin it around here a little bit to show you what I'm talking about. It's just absolutely easy to work with. I haven't added hairspray or anything like that. I just kind of tease a little bit and voila, there you go. Um, let's see, obviously where the sideburns supposedly used to exist, obviously when Tom Lee Wallace, you guys know it. Yeah, he uses the actual kind of like hairline there. It's not drawn on or anything. I'll try to get a little close up for you there to show you what I'm talking about. He's got the, obviously the you know, the right side, just like all the other independent mask makers, how they do it, it's it's just dead on. The, um, everything is just down to it from a science, it seems like everything, just like, uh, 
I've seen with uh, my NHK. It's just down to the T. I absolutely love it. Uh, the weathering, this is what I requested. A very light, I guess, medium light. I don't know if that's the right way of phrasing it. But that's how I wanted it. I didn't want it you know, overly weathered. This is how I wanted it because I wanted to get as close to the uh, H1 kind of earlier in the movie and all that. And Nicholas did mention to me in Facebook Messenger after it was all done when he sent me some photos that it was more like the hero. So if you guys out there have been doing this for years, if you looked at it and go, that kind of looks like, you know, like the hero. Well, according to Nicholas, yeah, it was more like that. So um, let's see what else is it. What else is it? I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah, the mouth does open on this. <laughs> so if you were kind of wondering about that, yes, it does open right there. Uh, da, 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 da. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forget? No, yeah, I think I pretty. I mean, it, it very much speaks for itself. So, yeah, it's, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm extremely impressed very well satisfied with this guy right here uh, i could see in the future once i get it on the bus it's going to go on like in a glass display that way i don't have to worry about anything going wrong with this puppy so yeah um once again guys thank you so much i truly do appreciate every single one of you coming on board subscribing to this channel leaving all your wonderful comments you guys have been some of the nicest people i have ever uh, dealt with and of course I'm always open to learn anything you know if there's something that I've missed about this or if there's other independent mask makers out there that you know that you highly recommend that I check out uh, please feel free to leave that information along I, I truly appreciate it and speaking of independent mask makers designers artists or anything or even if you're starting your own YouTube channel um, Feel free to ask me. You can ask me down below. You can contact me through uh, Facebook there. You could send me an email. I'll leave my email address down below for you guys. Um, I am very well open to do the best that I can to help you guys out. I'm not saying that I know everything about all this, but uh, I, I've, I've got a big passion for it. So yes, please feel free to ask me anything. Or let's say you are an independent mask maker and you're wanting to get your brand out there a little bit more and photography or videography is just truly not your thing and you need a little bit of help or whatever um, feel free to contact me i'd be more than more than happy to help you guys out you know we could work all that out in details later but uh yes please feel free to contact me i would be very happy to help out any of you if you just simply need someone to do some videos for you or whatever all I ask in return, if we do, just give you a basic idea, is uh, that I just have some credit, I guess you could say, on my link, whatever I do for you guys, if you guys, if I could link it to my YouTube channel, because I'd be more than happy, extremely proud to show your guys' work as well on my YouTube channel. That's all I ask. That's pretty simple, you know. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I'll shut up. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this video as I'm actually wearing this bad boy. Now it's not super long, the rest of it, because I figure I ramble on enough as it is. But if anything, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of it as I'm wearing it. And also real quick, you'll notice that one eye is covered and one eye is open. I just wanted to give you guys a perspective of what it looks like, because we always see it with the darkened eyes. But I wanted you guys to see what it looks like, where you could actually see one eye. You know what? I'll shut up. You guys can enjoy the rest of the video, and I am going to go fix me some pizza rolls because I'm really hungry. I'm always doing this after work, it seems like. Okay, see ya. Bye.